A director is the captain of an animated motion picture ship, guiding and supervising a talented team of technical and creative professionals. Pete Doctor studied character animation at California Institute of the Arts. Mr. Doctor joined Pixar in 1990 as the company's third animator and has gone on to direct the animated movies Monsters, Inc. and Up. Hi, I'm Pete Doctor. I'm the director of Inside Out. You're watching Made in Hollywood. Here's the scene. Here we go. All right, open. Hmm, this looks new. Think it's safe? What is it? Uh... Okay, caution. There is a dangerous smell, people. Hold on, what is that? So you are the director, the writer, you are vice president creative at Pixar. You started in 1990 as only like the third animator ever at the studio. How did you know that this is what you wanted to do? Well, it was kind of a mystery that I came to Pixar. I knew I wanted to get into animation, but at the time I, I like I, I trained as a hand-drawn animator, so, and that was what was big at the time, you know, it was Lion King, Aladdin, those kind of films were coming out. So it really didn't make any sense that I went to this computer company. But I liked the short films that they were doing, and it was so much about storytelling and great characters and using this new technology that so far I think people just associated with like flying logos and things, you know. They were using it in this really new way that was fresh. That is not brightly colored or shaped like a dinosaur. Hold on, guys. It's broccoli! Yes! But is it easy just to go into animation school? What do you have to study for that? It's not easy. For me, it was always a struggle to draw, like to get, uh, I know what I want in my head, but I can't get that to show up on the paper. You know, that was a struggle. And so I took a lot of life drawing classes, animal drawing, you know, a bunch of different things. And I went to CalArts, the California Institute of the Arts, which has a really cool program teaching you all the necessary ingredients of filmmaking. The closer she gets, the the more delicate and slow she's gonna move. Does that make sense? On a film like Inside Out, there are so many people involved. You have your whole animation team. As a director, what kind of responsibilities do you have? At Pixar, the director is the one that con comes up with the concept and then shepherds it all the way along from very, very beginning to the end. Even if the end shape ends up slightly smaller, I don't think that's bad. I'm the guy who makes all the final decisions. Obviously, there's tons of amazingly talented people who contribute a ton to the picture. It's my job to kind of steer and direct them so that everybody is contributing to the same thing, that not one of the guys making this movie over here and that over there, you know. When you choose the heads of your departments, what kind of qualities do you look for? Well, obviously they have to be skilled in whatever it is they do, proficient in, let's say, lighting or camera or whatever. But just as importantly is the ability to collaborate well, to be able to listen, respond, take notes. Is that the first time that that's happened? That's what it's supposed to be like when she says, we'll see with whether she goes to play on the job oh, sure. or talk to foreign yeah. friends. As a kid, I thought, man, it's all about the skill, right? If I can draw well, I'm gonna go far. Well, as it turns out, that is important, but it's also really important to be able to play nice with others, you know? You need to be able to listen, respond, and lead people. First day of school, very, very exciting. I was up late last night figuring out a new plan. Here it is, fear. Run. I need a list of all the possible negative outcomes on the first day at a new school. Way ahead of you there. Does anyone know how to spell meteor? On a daily basis, how hard do you feel like you have to work in order to really succeed? I feel like you put as much as you have in it, you know? I'm there all day for long hours, and then even after dinner, I'm thinking about the project, I'm checking email, I'm rewriting scenes, I'm doing everything I can. I feel like I'm stretched to the maximum to be able to do these things, and I don't know any other way to do it. Hello? You're kidding. All right, stall for me. I'll be right there. Uh, I gotta go. It's okay. We get it. You're the best. Thanks, hon. See you, sweetie. Dad just left us. Oh, he doesn't love us anymore. That's sad. I, I should drive, right? Joy. What advice do you have for any young aspiring directors? I would say do it. It's easier than ever to make your own movies. You probably have in your pocket right now the ability to make a movie on your phone, right? Just start experimenting. The analogy I use, like you would never expect a kid to like Hey, here's a violin. I'm gonna go put on a concert at Carnegie Hall, right? You have to practice. You have to get proficient. And it's the same movie making. I used to think too that there were some people who were just unfairly born talented. And that's sort of true. But even those people had to really work and uh, hone their craft. So I think the, the number one thing I'd say is get in there and start making movies. What?
the heck is cool that? Cool broccoli on pizza. That's it. I'm done. Congratulations, San Francisco. You've ruined pizza. First the Hawaiians, and now you. Made in Hollywood.